two core concepts, variables and pattern matching. In Elixir, variables do more than just store data, and pattern matching is an essential tool that extends beyond typical assignment. Let's jump into the Elixir shell. So open up your terminal and get that started with IEX, and we'll see how this works in practice. So Elixir, variables bind to values, acting as references rather than mere containers. For instance, if I do my underscore variable equals five, you've just bound five to my variable. Now, remember Elixir loves immutability. And so my variable is five. But so once you've bind a variable to a value, it can't be altered, but you can rebind it to something else. So I can do my variable equals 10 and then my variable is now 10. So the pin operator is used for matching against variables existing values. So if I did something like x equals one, I can then do a pin operator x equals one. And this is, um, it verifies that x is one. So basically it's kind of like doing this one equals x. Now this is a good segue into stepping into some basic pattern matching. Pattern matching might seem like assignment, but it's more about making assertions. So if we do x equals one, this sets x to one. But if we do one equals x, this checks that x is indeed one. So pattern matching shines with tuples as well. We can do things like a comma b equals a tuple with one and two. And now A becomes one and B becomes two. A mismatch would result in an error. So if we did something like um, a tuple with two and one, and we said equals tuple A comma B, we'll get a mismatch error. So we can also pattern match with lists. So we can do something like this. We can say head, and then we can do the pipe operator tail. And we can say this is equal to a list of one, two, and three, and hit enter. And now here, head captures the first element. So head is one, and then tail is the rest. This even works for binaries. So we could do something like this. We can do head colon colon binary and then set the size to four bytes and then comma and then body colon colon binary. And then we'll just have the remaining go into the body, right? So close this binary off. And then if we set it equal to a binary, which we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then double chevron to close that off. When I hit enter, now when we call head, it'll be the first four bits, and then body is the remaining bits. Maps can be pattern matched too. So we could do something like this, uh, key colon value, uh, closing curly braces equals, and then another so now we can pass in, call it key value. It'll be a string. And then we can create another key. Uh, we'll call it other. And then the value other. Basically what we're doing here is we're looking for the value key on the right side. And we're going to set key value to value when we hit enter. So when I hit enter, what did, oh, I forgot a quote. I hate when I do that. All right. One second, guys, IEX, let's do this again. So if I create key colon value, value is going to be basically the variable we're setting because we're trying to match the value key. And then if we do this key, and then we have key value here, which is a string, and then other, which is other value, and then close that off. When I hit enter, now, if I pull up value, it's going to equal, or it will um, be equal to key value. 
So pattern matching is super cool and probably one of the biggest things to leverage in Elixir. And when we get into like functions and recursion, you're going to see how cool it is. So now the, the underscore lets you ignore values for a match. So for example, we can do something like um, curly brace underscore comma B, and then we can pattern match to one, to a tuple one and two and hit enter. And now we just have value B set and we ignored the first value because we didn't, maybe you don't need it. So why waste the memory, right? So pattern matching is also great for deconstructing or breaking apart data structures. So we can do this with a, uh, a list as well. We can say A, then underscore C. And so we're ignoring value B here and we can say, we want to set those to a list that is, has value one, two, and three. So now we're deconstructing this list, but we're just grabbing the first and third value. So A is one and C is three. Best practices to consider is to use pattern matching thoughtfully and make sure your patterns align well with the data structures you're working with. Complex or inappropriate patterns can make code hard to follow. So that's your little intro to variables and pattern matching in Elixir. These concepts are fundamental for crafting efficient and readable Elixir code. So play around, experiment, and get a solid grasp, and I'll see you in the next video.